What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 250 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series. On the previous episode we picked up 2 wins one defeat, taking us to 448 wins, 280 defeats and 168 game differential. Hopefully we can hit 450 wins on today's episode and without further ado let's get underway with battle number 1. Okay guys, battle number one, we lead off with Dugtrio versus my opponent, Oofland. I'm going to go straight up for a substitute, just to scout out what he's going to go for. He's going to go for an EQ. Fair enough. We, therefore, will go Weezing. And we'll start trying to sell Toxic Spikes. If Weezing goes down, I'm not that worried. I don't think Buffalant will be able to take it out in one hit. Head Charge is a two hit kill. We outspeed, we can get the second layer of Toxic Spikes off. And that'll be very helpful to us. Technically, the best move here is to go Protect. Because then I survive the second Head Charge. Okay, so I'm down now. I think we now go Pangoro. And we go for a super power. He outspeeds, gets that off. We take him out with the super power. And now whatever he brings in, as long as it's not a poison type or a flying Pokemon or a levitate mon, will be toxic poisoned. Okay, it's a flying Pokemon. Of course it is. Well, we will go... He's gonna Acrobatics. Almost guaranteed. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Punch. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the Acrobatics. That's fine. Um... Hmm... I mean, I know Doug Trio's gonna outspeed, but nothing else is. Let's go for the Stone Edge. And we do enough to take him below half. Head Smash isn't gonna do enough, and he's gonna take himself out. Very good. Well done, Doug Trio. Picking up a kill, which is something you don't see very often from Doug Trios. Okay, a Wobbuffet. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't have much going for me here. I guess I just go for the EQ. There's the count I'll take mail, that's fine. Let's go semi poor. Let's go for a nasty plot. Because he's going to be predicting the special attack. Goes Destiny Bond, which means I'm definitely not going for an attacking move. I'm just going to let him go down to Toxic. Or now I could go for an Ice Beam. Let's go for an Ice Beam now. He'll take out the Wobbuffet. We take a little bit of Life Orb damage. We should outspeed most things. Base 275 max speed is really quick, actually. We do slightly outspeed the Starmie. However, we're not going to come out of this in a good way. Let's just go for the Hydro Pump. We don't outspeed the Starmie, which means it's, what, choice? That's interesting. Either I was timid and we're not. We'll have to go for another Hydro Pump, even if it could miss. It hits, takes out the Lunatone. And one more thing to do. One more Pokemon to kill. It's a Garchomp, and we have Ice Beam. So unless you have Focus Sash, goodbye Garchomp. 
And once Mega Garchomp, it'll go down to the Ice Beam, and we pick up the win. Simipaw getting, what, four kills in that battle? So well done to Simipaw. Let's go on to battle number two, guys. Okay, guys, battle number two. We lead off with Deoxys versus Dialga. This is a terrible matchup. Let's just go for a superpower. Almost one shot, which is a surprise to me. We're going to die. No, it's going to Stealth Rock. Which is very interesting. I think we go Super Power again. And we just use the Super Power to take out my opponent. Because I don't know if Fire Punch would have killed, because it was only neutral and it's less powerful than Super Power. So it probably only have done like a quarter of what that did. So it may not have killed. Okay, so Crocodile's going to come out. I outspeed. We can go for a Super Power if we want, or we could switch out into Torterra or Suicune. I think... or Amoongus, but I think Suicune's the best. Oh, good, 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 good play by my opponent there. Very, very good play. Um... Yeah, I'll go Suicune. And I could see the knockoff happening, but I'm just going to go for a Hydro Pun. Like the Roserade's gonna switch in. I wish I had gone Ice Beam. Ice Beam probably was the cleverer player. Um, he outspeeds me. I should. I'll go Among Us. It's gonna spike, so I had a feeling he was gonna do something like that. Um, we have HP Fire, but would Sludge Bomb do more? Sludge Bomb should do more. He has HP something. Right, I'm going to recover a little bit of health. I'm guessing that's HP Fire, but we're going to take so much damage with Moltres and we don't outspeed, I don't think. We may do. Let's go for HP Fire then, see how much it does. Yeah, it does less. I should have went Sludge Bomb twice. It would only be in a tiny bit more damage. We do not have a way to get rid of Stealth Rocks at this point, though. Hmm. That's a very big problem. Okay. Typhlosion's ability... Actually, it's Choice Scarf without Eruption. Which is interesting. We're going to go Moltres, and we're going to actually sub up here. Oh, he didn't switch. Ooh, we actually survived that. That's amazing. That did less than 25%. Okay, we'll go for a Fire Blast. Since both of our moves are the same power, but they, that one had better accuracy. Oh, that had better accuracy. Alright, Fire Blast does a decent chunk of damage. Go for another one. Knockoff is going to break the sub. We take him out. So now... He's going to have to hope to outspeed me. Moltres is pretty fast. He does outspeed by one point. Stone Edge will easily destroy me. Um, I'm going to go Suicune now. And I'm actually going to go for the Ice Beam. Yes, that was super predictable. And that didn't do much. That did, like, no damage. Why did that do so little damage? Oh, that's a risk. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Come on, Typhlosion, take the Leaf Storm. You did, good. Okay, now I have to predict, is he switching out into Crocodile? Because if he is, HP Grass or Focus Blast is about there. Let's go for the Fire Blast. Why do I always miss? Always miss my first inaccurate move I go for. Alright, we hit that time. 
Take out the dust talks. Typhlosion, I don't believe, can survive an art switch in. So I'm just gonna fire blast. That does over half, but he's gonna take me out with an AQ. I think I can live one Leaf Storm. Maybe. Probably not at 50%, actually. Go for another Ice Beam. The EQ doesn't finish me off. We're going to take out the Crocodile. I think one on one Torterra can take out the Roserade. Cobalion, however. I need to go for a Hydro Pump here. He's out of speeding me. Iron Head doesn't kill, though. And two of those will kill. Oh, three of those will kill the Cobalion. I think we're going down this turn, though. I think we may have just lost this. I think if it had been Torterra versus just the Roserade, we could win, or just the Cobalion, but I don't think Torterra can take out both. We're not going to take too much from that, and we're just going to spam Earthquake at this point. That does very little damage. Earthquake takes out the Cobalion. We may have a shot at this. We need to do 56%. Come on, Torterra. Okay, we need to do more than... Okay, that's a two shot, no matter what. Hidden Power doesn't kill, and Earthquake takes out the Roserade, and we pick up our second win of the episode. Let's go on to the final ball, guys. I'll join you there. Okay, guys, final ball of the episode, and we lead off with Illumise versus Excadrill. I'm going to... Which straight out. I'm going to baton pass out. Now I'm going to substitute actually. Tailwind. He may have sword stance, which would be a bit of a problem. Which is why I think I need the tailwind up. So that my Pokemon can actually outspeed it. He is going to Sword Stance. Okay. So now I need to switch. I'm going to substitute. Okay, now I'm going out in the Gastrodon. I can take the Iron Head, I knew I could. We have one turn of Tailwind, which allows us to get off either a Scald or an Earthquake. Earthquake will do more, so we'll go for the Earthquake. It takes out the Excadrill. Well done, Gastrodon and Illumise. Good teamwork. My opponent's next Pokemon's going to be a Zeb Striker, which often has him for a grass. So, based on that, I really wish Cradilly could get Earthquake. I'm going to go. If he's going to hit Power Grass, I should go Shaman. Every time. I'm going Illumise. Illumise. Right, that was an HP grass. That's very obvious. My opponent baited that out with his switch. So we're going to go for a Tailwind here. If he takes me out, that's fine. But by doing this, I get to outspeed the Zep Striker. Probably. Let's guess we're done speed. 110. That probably does outspeed the Zep Striker. Over he takes me out, that's fine. Okay. We can now actually switch out into Mechatita. Mega Evolve, go for the EQ. We outspeed the Zip Striker. I'm assuming Tailwind's double speed. Same as like Swift Swim. And not just like 1.5 times. If it is, then I'm going to lose this speed time and get hit by a hidden power grass, which wouldn't be that bad. We don't take him out, unfortunately. The Volt Switch is going to do nothing. 
and he's gonna bring our Kyogre, not primal, good. Not primal, always a good thing. Let's go for Creadilly since we have the Storm Drain. Tailwind is gonna peter out and that's gonna be the end of the Tailwind, unfortunately. Gold, we're going to absorb, get a special attack boost, which matters mm, not at all. It doesn't matter at all. Because I have no special attacks. And my opponent's gonna forfeit. One too many over predictions or under predictions by my opponent there. And we pick up the three wins for the episode, guys. So that's gonna take us to 451 wins, 280 defeats, 171 game differential. If you've enjoyed and to see say that you've enjoyed all 250 episodes. If anyone's watched all 250 episodes, I'll be amazed. But if you've enjoyed this one in particular, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe as well. And from me, Corvus, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.